and you're, you're one fight away to going into the quarters. Oh, what a contest we have on our hands next. It is the neighboring nations of Armenia and Azerbaijan facing off this 21-year-old Rudolf Garboyan. Garboyan, his opponent, 20-year-old 20, 20 Nijat Hussainov. These two boxers know all about one another, having met in the gold medal bout of the under-22 European Championship in Budva Montenegro last year, as we see the five scoring judges who will preside over this one. Mr. Manuel Villarino of Argentina is the referee. And again, because of their previous history, as we see previous results in a round of 32, Sakil Alakverdevi outpointed unanimously. Margarbian prevailed unanimously over Weijuan Tio of Singapore. So final instructions, referee could well have his hands full here because, because of their previous history and because of the neighboring nations and the intense sporting rivalry that exists between them, all skill or previous history could go out of the window and this one could be dictated by emotion. We're underway, 51 kilogram action in the round of 16 to determine who will go through to the quarter-final stage. It's between boxers from Armenia and Azerbaijan. The Southpaw wearing red is the current under-22 European silver medalist at 51 kilograms. The man wearing blue is Nijat Hussainov of Azerbaijan. And he's the man who is the current European under-22 gold medalist. The two men facing off in the European final in Budva, Montenegro last year. An almost incomplete contrast to what I suggested may happen is the absolute opposite. Such is the, re such is the familiarity between the two and the intensity. It's not resulted in them coming together furiously. Instead, it is a standoff and proving to be a battle of counterpunches in the first minute of this opening round. Yeah, it really is. It's, it's a game of chess in there right now. Both men not really looking to flow through. There's a lot of feints going on. We're both just trying to feel each other out. So Garbian, with that low-held guard, brings a perfect professional record into this Olympic qualification event. Made his debut in May of 2022 in the professional ranks. His last fight as a pro was in August of last year. As Garbian helping himself to some shots after the command of stop from the referee. You can see him standing stock still. Counter right hand caught him as he advanced. And another right hand landed by Husseinov, the orthodox boxer wearing blue. The fainting continues. They're in punching range. Leaping left hook attempted by Garbian. Didn't find the range. He switched southpaw now to make it an all port sided affair. Well, Husseinov's just doing, he's doing quite well there. He's, he's, not, he's stopped waiting now. Just catching his man as he comes in. Again, the thinking, the fainting, trying to draw that lead from their opponent as Hussainov switches back to the orthodox stance, coming forward behind a rather crude looking combination. Was Garbayan. Oh, that's a beautiful right hand to the body to end that cluster of punches from Hussainov. The initial shots fell short, but the right hand to the ribcage was right on target, as was that left cross from Garbayan. Closing seconds of the opening round is in what has been a very cagey encounter indeed. I suggested it may be all thunder and emotion as Garbayan again able to get those arcing punches away while Husseinov was looking to fashion a clinch. Oh, this looking at Bolo backhand to the body once again as the two men waltz one another around at the sound of the bell. So much intensity and evidence between the two boxers, and it is Nijat Husseinov, the man in the blue corner, who has taken it for all five scoring judges. It was very, very cagey opening round there. It'll be interesting to see how it opens up in the second in the second round. I feel the man in red for me was just just waiting a, a little bit too long. I feel he could. I feel, I feel he could pick up the pace a little bit in the second round.
Um, instruction being offered over in that red corner. Their man trailing for all five scoring judges after three minutes of boxing. You see that towel, Nicola, that the coach who has in his hand. That's from the World Under 21, excuse me, the World Youth Championships that took place in 2021. I've got the same one. Oh. The commentating near ringside in Kielce in Poland. <laughs> but enough of that. Back to the action in the ring. That's Garbojan. Looking to claw back the 10-9 deficit that he faces after three minutes of boxing. Scores with a good right jab to the body. There's a beautiful leaping left jab from Hussainov. Started the shot from out of range and then a right hand to the body. Catches Garbojan, but then as Hussainov tried to disengage. He clipped his man with a right hook out of that southpaw stance. Beautiful right-left combination from Garbayan. The physicality ensues at close range once again. That was better from Garbayan. Oh. Garbayan not too far away with a southpaw left. Hussainov, really exaggerated movements. He's a real bundle of fast twitch fiber in that long, lean frame at 51 kilograms. Oh, that oh. was a low blow from Hussainov. No complaints from Garbayan, but that appeared to be demonstrably south of the belt line. Oh, what oh. a counter right hand from Hussainov. And we talked about this man's explosivity and fast twitch fiber. He demonstrated that talent there, made his man miss, and stepped into a right hand sumptuously. But then he's picked off by a two shot combo from Garbayan. Terrific two way action at the midpoint of the round as another left hand lands from Garbayan as Hussainov was attempting a check hook, looking to spin off the line. Garbayan spoken to about leading with his elbow. Yeah, Hussainov looking for the check shot once again and Garbayan's done that really effectively when Hussainov had looked to clinch and keep it long before pushing his man off Garbayan had been helping himself to what are effectively free shots just oh. there right on cue again you see the way Hussainov clinches it's almost as though he's dancing with a reluctant partner or he's a reluctant partner because the arms are long and while the arms are long in that gap, Garbayan is able to get punches away and clip him on his jaw. Yeah, Hussainov needs to be careful here. He might be, he might be just, just losing this now. Same again in the clinch. Oh, but he's going to be Dr. Point. Oh. Failing to keep his head up. Garbayan, who lost the opening round unanimously. Now Dr. Point in a round where he had responded well. Beautiful counter right uppercut to the body from Hussainov on the resumption. And again, oh. there's the same shot once more. Let's his man advance, just slips in the pocket and slings in a right hook to the solar plexus. Hussainov spoken to again about leading with his elbow. Oh, that's oh. a beautiful southpaw left from Garbayan, celebrated by his co celebrated by his coaches. But Garbayan digging away downstairs again. You see, when he gets in close, which is surprising. I know he's only 20, but he's an experienced international boxer. But when he gets in close, it's as though Hussainov has no idea of what to do. His arms are long, his chin is open. See, Garbayan took the second round for the judge from Romania, but the other four judges scoring it in favor of Hussainov. And when the point deduction taken into account, it's effectively a 10-8 round for those four judges. The other one, a 9-9 round, because it's 10 minus 1 because of the penalty inflicted against Garbayan for, ex for failing to keep his head up. So this man in a strong position on the scorecards now. Expect Rudolf Garbayan to come out in aggressive fashion again because of his apparent uncomfortability when he's in close. He will present opportunities, Nijat Hussainov, because again, when he tries to clinch, it's as though he's reaching for something at long range and then when he bends down low again there's gaps and his chin is an open target and, Hus and Garb Garbayan has been taking full advantage so we go into the third and final round then oh that's oh. a beautiful right uppercut Hussainov showing his punch picking ability once again Garbayan has got to go for it he's trailing 20 points to 17 and again, there's another example of the uncomfortability at close range from Hussainov. It's almost as though he doesn't want to touch his opponent. Yeah. And in between those gaps, Garbayan has been making hay. 
Yeah, Senov needs to be very careful. He's just leaving his chin out to dry when he goes into a... Uh, there again. And again, it's... how many times has he been hit after the initial two-shot salvo? They came together, and Hussainov's evident de defences were nowhere to be seen. And again, he's got his chin up in the air when he's just looking to dance away, and he was looking at the ref. Garbayan, as he checks his oh. chin with a solid backhand out of that southpaw stance. And again, the same thing once more. This is quite extraordinary to behold. Because Hussainov, when he gets himself into the physical stakes at close range, his chin is way up in the air. He's not looking to tuck it away or protect it. And Garbayan has clocked that and he's been touching it frequently. Check left hand landed with the inside of the glove from Hussainov. Garbayan, just beyond the halfway stage of this round, continuing to compete. And it's almost as though Hussainov is waiting for the referee to call stop or break. So Garbayan, well within his rights to touch him on that unprotected chin. Garbayan needs to be very... Um, Hussainov needs to be careful because uh, we all know very well one punch can change everything. And with his chin up in the air like that... Whew. Good right oh. hand to the body from Hussainov, who offensively... Picks his punches very well indeed. There he takes a single from Garbayan. Beautiful movement up on his toes. And look at how frustrated oh. Garbayan is. Turning his palms upwards as if to say, stop the moving man, come and fight me. But Hussainov having none of it during that passage of the round. Killing the clock, allowing time to run out. And remember, oh, that's a beautiful counter right hand. And he's on his bike once again, Hussainov using the ring beautifully and then springs off the rope from where he was square lands a right hand but not paying to defense again and look at that oh. touched by a left uppercut on the inside that is a significant flaw for my money in the repertoire of the reigning under 22 european champion sure it's something that they're going to work to address and not only is he one of the best well the best boxer in the continent in his age group at the World Youth Championships in 2021, that same one I referred to, I was there ringside in Kielce. That's why his coaches have got the towel, because he boxed his way to a, a bronze medal finish at 49 kilograms. Absolute delight in that blue corner, because offensively, this man boxed like a dream. Wonderful punch picking, fast twitch fibers in full effect. Defensively, I think there are some <laughs> yeah. things to address, but he's got the job done impressively here today against the man from the neighboring nation of Armenia. It's going to be a repeat victory to add to the one that he secured in the final of the European Championships for the under 22s in Budva, Montenegro. And this one will take him through to the Olympic qualifying tournament quarter final. Ring A, the winner of my point. Unanimous decision in the blue corner. And there is confirmation of a unanimous points decision victory for Nijat Husseinov. The European under-22 champion earns a repeat victory over the man he bested in that tournament's gold medal bout. Wonderful offensive qualities in evidence. Rudolf Garbayan deserves immense credit for remaining committed to his task, but he was doctor point in the second round and that put him behind the eight ball. But look at the punch picking in evidence from Hussainov. Wonderful work offensively. There's the defensive flaw that I think he and his team are going to have to address long term. But here and now, his offensive quality is enough to carry him through to the quarterfinals here in Busto Arsizio. Yeah, Hussainov's going to be, have to be very careful against Clara if he keeps his chin like that in the next round. But they're the scores. So Hussainov taking the final round unanimously. And there's evidence of that point deduction in the second round assessed against Garbayan. That really did put him behind the eight ball, and that's why the scores 